What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We had a very, very good outing in the last one. You can see what the team we had right here. It's a good team, but it's not the, I mean, the outfield's absolutely loaded. Don't get me wrong, but we got out of position on the infield. We got golds. Not that many 99s on the infield here, but the team's solid. Not the best. We had to go up against 99 Justin Verlander, but we got the job done. Can we keep our win streak going today? We're this close to championship series. All right, first things first, we're gonna spin the bounty wheel, see what our mission is today. On top of winning the game, we are gonna have to also keep out, out hit our opponent. We almost had to hit two or more home runs. I mean, it is right on the line there, but this is actually the second time in three episodes we've had to do this one. It's gotta out hit our opponent with the W. The last episode we had to do, it. we had a double bounty as our wager, and then we had the triple bounty as our wager in the last episode. So thankfully we only had to spin once today. But it's time to build the squad. We're gonna go behind the plate last episode. We had that switch hitter, Tops Now Yasmani Grandal. Today, what are we gonna have today? I will also be debuting the pitcher wheel today. We'll be doing that after we get the the position players, any World Series winner. I'm gonna take this opportunity to use Puzz. 99 Yvonne Rodriguez, a card I have never used. He won the World Series, that infamous celebration behind home plate with the Marlins when they won the World Series. Him and Josh Beckett were a fun tandem on those, Mar those Marlin teams. Pudge Rodriguez and his Rangers threads gonna be behind the plate. Now to first base, the first hot corner, the hot corner's little brother. What do we got? 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 A Venezuelan. Oh, baby. There's a good one. Where's Miguel Cabrera? Is he already on my team? Oh, he's already on my team. The Miguel Cabrera card. Oh, no, he is a primary first baseman. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. When I first clicked on first base, man, I thought he was listed as a third baseman. I was about to be upset. Miguel Cabrera, maybe the best Venezuelan born baseball player of all time, and they have a ton of good ones. Miguel Cabrera gonna be on first, the 500 home run club. Whew, my brain instantly went to Miggy. If I couldn't use him, I was gonna be mad. But now second base, spin it up, second base! Second base! That's the first time we ever landed on the Venezuela spot on the wheel. Now at second base, we have a postseason car. We have NL postseason, postseason, and AL postseason all right next to each other, and the wheel was randomized. That's so odd. So the 21 postseason wild card, Tommy Edmond with the 125-109 contact switch hitter. Can also move him around the field if we need to. He's gonna be on second. Now over to shortstop, we have a switch hitter and two righties so far. We had Carlos Correa's June player of the month in the last episode. Today, we need someone with, yo, of all the individual stats, slots, I added contact slots, speed slots, 110 plus, 100 or less, all these different stat based lands on the wheel. And we've landed on 110 power versus right three times in the last four episodes. How does this keep happening? All right, so just going through the first page here, Javi Baez, 95, Tim Anderson, 99, Barry Larkin, 100, Jimmy Rollins, 82, Wander Franco, 94, Corey Seager, ding, 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 there's our first one that's eligible at 113 power. We got Marco Luciano at 100, Trey Turner, 104, Trevor Story, 121. Not good contact, though. Don't know if I want to play with that type of PCI. We are on Hall of Fame. Most likely going to see Verlander again. Let's just go ahead and put Corey Seager at shortstop. We'll have a postseason middle of the infield. That's also our first lefty in the lineup. Very important. Really couldn't have been a better land there for us. Now, over to third base, the hot corner, the actual hot corner, we can use... <laughs> Oh, you guys hate it. You guys hate it so much. Chipper Jones and Mickey Mantle are always, one of the two is like almost always on the team. I will admit. Chipper's the only parallel five third baseman that I have, so I have no other option. He's the, he, that's who we're using. I've been trying to avoid Chipper when we land on him lately because you guys get mad at me using him so much, but he is the only option today. Now left field, in left. Why does third base love me so much in this series? Oh, are we finally gonna land on something other than power versus right? 110 power versus left. There's a ton of, I mean, literally all seven of the guys on that top of the sheet all have 110 or more power versus left, except for Lourdes Gurriel. What I'm gonna do in this one, I am gonna take Tyler O'Neill. We had him, I wanna say we used him like three or four episodes ago and he hit a home run for us. Smashes lefties, but he also has great defense and 99 speed and I'd, I'd wanna get off to a good start defensively out there in the outfield because we could have two really bad lands here and end up with bad defense. So let's make sure we get someone who can flag anything down out there. If I need to, I'll move him to center later in the game. Now for center field itself. We had Mickey in the last one for the first time in like 12 episodes. Episodes. Now we get to use any right-handed hitter. Come on now. 
Y'all know what's going on here. Mad Cab 3030 Club. I have them at Parallel 3 right now. Let me just show you guys. Now, before I show you guys the stats on this Mad Cab card, if you're not an OG here, might be my favorite right-handed hitter in the history of Diamond Dynasty. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I have played a lot of Hall of Fame games, even a handful of Legend games with this card. Because when he first came out, I was actually on the doorstep for World Series. So he was a part of a ranked seasons push for me when I first got him. Online, this card is in 91 games batting 522 with 37 extra base hits and a 1737 OPS. What? That is our fourth righty though. We have two switch hitters and a lefty, so I wouldn't mind getting another lefty or a switch hitter here out in right field, but the team is pretty balanced so far. This is one of my favorite lineups we've ever had. We get to use a switch hitter. What switch hitters are in right? Huh, it doesn't look like anyone on the main page is a, is a switch hitter. Yoshi Shushugo bats left only, I thought so. Um, Harold Baines lefty. Willie Myers, duh, obviously right-handed. What, who? Is there even an option? There has to be at least one, right? You would think so. So the 88 Anthony Santander 42 series is the best option, but before I lock that in, I am gonna go check the marketplace just to make sure I'm not missing anyone. I have 700,000 stubs. Nope, that's it. Anthony Santander it is. He's actually got a good swing too, just an outdated card, but that's fine. This team's nasty. So now on the bench, as usual, we spin it one time, one time for our bench, and that decides all five. So it's either gonna be good or it could potentially be really bad. Our bench is going to be loaded up with Tops Now cards. We almost got gold there. Gold's not terrible. Just going to have some small PCIs. We're going to do Joey Wendell, Jazz Chisholm, Yasmani Grandal, and Jorge Polanco as switch hitters. Yaz will also be our backup catcher. And then Connor Joe specifically. Ah, uh, you know what? Nah, if we're going to have someone specifically for lefties, let's put Tim Anderson down there. Now we're going to spin for the pitcher wheel, baby! The new, brand new pitcher wheel. And again, if you have any ideas for me to add stuff to this, let me know in the comments. This is our first time using it. We can only use cards that have outlier. <laughs> we land on one of the best ones first time through. I was honestly thinking we were going to land on like signature series or funk first time just to make it difficult. We got pretty lucky here. All right, the five guys I'm lining up, Garrett Crochet, Nate Pearson, Jacob DeGrom, Justin Verlander, and Nolan Ryan. We're gonna spin the one through five wheel and figure out who we're starting. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I have Nolan Ryan the one, Verlander two, DeGrom three, Pearson four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I thought it was choice! It is number one. I, I, tried, I played myself. I was like, I'm not gonna put Verlander in the one slot because that's who I want and I know I'm not gonna land on it. We'll put him in two. I tried to, I played too much. Play too much. Nolan Ryan's a good start though. And now the bullpen will be made up of, I can't wait to add more stuff to this wheel once I hear what you guys are thinking. Once I hear what you guys are thinking, six foot five or taller in the pen. It has to be six five or taller. Yo, I had no idea Adam Wainwright was six foot seven inches tall. That's crazy. Wainwright, please sack, Blake Trinan, uh, Tom Hankey, Rob Nen, Wade Davis, Kenley Jansen, and Will Smith. Smith, Jansen, Davis, Nen, Hankey, Trinan, and Dan Plesak are all exactly six foot five, and then Wainwright is six foot seven. Now remember, we have to out hit our opponent today. We all have to also have to win the game. If we don't win the game, and complete the bounty, we're gonna have to do this wager in the next video. So let's see what it is. Will we land on that da bomb sauce? It's been staring at me for a week since I picked it up. We are, oh, we just missed the bomb. We gotta do the ice bucket challenge. Ashley's really gonna enjoy this if we don't get this done today. I like that, a little bit of fun with the ice bucket challenge. I don't mind losing this one, but I'm gonna try and strap in and really get this W. I'm on a win streak. Like I said, if we win this game, we'll probably be in championship series. Just like last season, it's very sweaty. Very sweaty. Most casuals have stopped playing this game at this point in the year. Everyone in 700 and 800 and ranked are really a bunch of World Series players that are all battling their way up. It is a tough go through 800s right now, but we're one win away. Let's get it done. Lineup's gonna go Tommy Edmond, Matt Kemp, Miguel Cabrera, Corey Seager, Chipper Jones, Tyler O'Neill, Yvonne Rodriguez, and Anthony Santander with Nolan Ryan on the bump. Let's play. And remember guys, if you're going to a sporting event in the fall, I cannot stress it enough. It greatly helps me out and it's a flat 20 bucks for you for free. If you're going to a sporting event, basketball, hockey, football, a concert, whatever you're going to, use code SHELFIE for a flat 20 bucks off your order at SeatGeek. Take advantage of that. Pretty much waves the fees, get you a free drink. However you want to look at it, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Oh, well, look at this. We're getting some. This guy has six parallel fives in his lineup. Parallel four Greg Maddox on the mound. We're on the road in a created stadium. 
Oh, a very unique. I haven't seen Greg Maddox since he came. I'm sorry, we're the home team. I don't know what I was talking about. He's on the road. All right. Interesting. At least we're not facing Verlander or DeGrom, so it's a little bit of a mix. But Greg Maddox is a paint doctor. All right. I think he's taken all the way here this whole at bat. Okay. Well. Oh, and two. Luis Gonzalez. Now we'll see if he finally swings about. We've thrown eight pitches here. No swinging. No swinging. And he takes that. What is happening here? Bro, there's is he there is he not playing? Good. I mean, what is going on? He's just sitting here. What? Why did you load up a game? I have absolutely no idea what is going on. My opponent, Smooth, just said, and he's also not pitching, which means we're going to get auto pitches that take absolutely forever from Greg Maddox here. That hopefully they at least go right down the middle like they're supposed to. Thank you. What in tar- Oh, wait, nope. He's going to the ball. He's running to the ball. He's running to the ball. We have ourselves a ball game. Kempa! Hook that change up foul. All right, now I have to relock in here and figure out how he's going to pitch me now that he's actually on the controller again. Kemp! The ball smoked! We have one hop ground out for an RBI. We smashed that curveball. 100 miles an hour off the bat there from Matt Kemp. Woo! Now Miguel Cabrera. Same chain, or same curveball there. Just a little bit more outside. I just had a good swing on that pitch with Kemp, all right? I tried to barrel it up and go the other way. I'm sorry. All right, 3-1 on Siegs, who was selected specifically for power versus right. We're going to take all the way here. Now we're 3-2. Now we go. Chipper Jones on deck. Full count. Two down. Already up by one. Yeah, the last thing I expect anyone to do with Greg Maddox is throw a cutter right out over the middle of the, the plate. Yeah, maybe give this guy a little less respect next inning. I don't know. And we're right back to not pressing the A button. Is he not hitting? He is he just not hitting? Oh, he's swinging away, baby. Oh, one and oh and one. Did he just try and bump with Mookie Betts? What in tarnation is going on here today? I am like really confused. These are the type of people I thought stop, stop playing the game. These are the type of people I thought hopped. It's been a while since I was in a troll game. These are the people I thought started playing Call of Duty. One and two on Ivan Rodriguez. Let's gas it up. Gas it up. Two, two. He's got a pretty good eye on that fastball just off the plate. Let's see what he's got for this chance. Not a good changeup. I got to slow it down on that. Whew. Got away with that pitch. Better. Much better. Still not good, but much better. Oh and two on Eddie Murray. Is he just keeping his PCI dead smack in the center trying to get lucky? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. What? This guy had to be has to be on like a win streak or something. I did not let my rating bar go very far. We found our opponent very quickly, actually. He has to be in division series. I don't know what's happening here. He's gonna end up turning it on out of nowhere. I can say. Let's just score some more runs. This is gonna take two hours. <laughs> this game is gonna take two whole hours, man. Get through. Nice play by Eddie Murray. I gotta slow myself down a little bit here. His pace is just really not fun, this guy. Ooh. I can't even say he's just trying to throw me off either because obviously this guy is just occupied by something else over there. This guy's probably doing his homework or something. He might actually be playing Call of Duty on a separate monitor and then just pitching in between. You know, a little search and destroy. As soon as you go down, you just pick up the MLB controller. That's a, I, there's no rhythm to this game at all. Smacked! Tyler O'Neill, double him up! It's two zip! Let's go! Pudge! Very good swing on that cutter. And another nice play by Eddie Murray at first. Try to barrel up one of these cutters. Miss another one of those cutters, Greg. There it is, and we got it. He rips the gap. He didn't miss out over the plate. It's actually a great back door, but I was just sitting on that pitch the whole at bat. <laughs> and now with two outs, Nolan Ryan's going to come up. Going to take a pitcher hit to get that run around, but at least we'll have the top of the order in the third if we don't get on here. We're going to try, though. Oh, he went cutter. So that time I was sitting on that sinker on the black. Good curveball. 
We didn't guess wrong that time, but we didn't barrel it up. We strand one. We get a double and a homer on the inning, though. So we're still up on hits. We're up by a lot, actually. We're winning by two. Chop ground ball. Tough play. Doesn't make it. Sick. Tries to put the butt down with Greg Maddox, as he should have on the last pitch. I don't know why he's trying to drag, though. You're not, you're not beating it out. Should just be trying to put that runner on second. Come on, man. Good change up. Hey, hey, out in front. Yeah, he's trying to barrel something up and tie this thing. Oh, and two. Yeah, baby. 39 pitches for Nolan Ryan here in the third inning. Luis Gonzalez in a two strike count. Chipper still on first base after that infield single. He calls time. Goose. Ah, that was a miss pitch. Doesn't matter. Some people just can't hit outline, man, especially on Hall of Fame. I have a feeling that my opponent here is someone who probably does pretty decent on All-Star, but uh, is still trying to make the Hall of Fame jump. And Outlier's definitely not his friend. It's not his friend. Get through there, Tommy Edmond. Oh, Mookie. What a freaking play. What a play. Now Kemp steps in. He had the RBI ground out last time. He did hit that ball 100 miles an hour, though. It was a good swing. Again, we chase below the knee with Kemp. That time we were more on top of it. We hit it right at the second baseman. Kemp, you got to find a seam. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, that's 500 home run club, Miguel Cabrera. Getting one to bleed down the line. I'm just going to stay a second. That's Vlad's seam. I would have got the third there. He got a bad animation. But Vlad, look at that arm. Look at that arm. We've seen him throw people out from the warning track in real life. Still, he must be in that. He's in. A, he just started another search and destroy game. This man just tried to come out of the pause and quick pitch a cutter and missed. That's what you get. That's what you get. See ya. Get this man out of my. Get out of the dome. The piggy bank. You're not welcome! Try and sneak a cutter in there on me! What's wrong with you? Chip! Chip! Late side of good. Up, up, up! Immediately making me reroute! Immediately making me reroute! I respect that. I challenged him and he barreled one up. Or did he? Or freaking that better not be an accurate PCI. <laughs> better not. Got him. Just so trigger happy. Yeah, the fastball thing's probably the last move against this guy. If I threw only changeups, we might have gotten through the inning, no damage. Good curve. Oh, and two. Good changeup. Beautiful. Oh, check this swing. What a pitch. Goose. Oh, and two. Right back after him. Ch -ch -ch Solo shot when I, ch I respect that home run. I really do. I was, I got a little cocky there. I like that. Tyler, lead off knock. Get that hit right back. And he throws a first pitch curve. Tyler O'Neill will take second. I, I took a two step lead and everything. Puns down the line. And it gets by Luis Gonzalez in left. It'll be an RBI double. We instantly get that run back. Good cutter. I didn't think he'd go back. I was looking sinker there. That's a good pitch. Good pitch. Now the pitcher spot will come up with one out. I was going to... Ah! <laughs> Nolan Ryan just hit a foul ball home run. Get through. Look at Nolan Ryan. <laughs> yes. Schmacked. That cut in on my hands just enough. Vlad, one of the better arms ever, though, like we said earlier. Not going to be able to get him from third, though. Way too deep. We go up six to one. Kemp! Finally, he gets a knock. I was going to say he finally gets it through the infield. He did not. Is that going to go through? It is going to go through. 29 speed Nolan Ryan, though. Going to have to keep him at third. I think it's the first time I chased that curveball down and got a seam on the infield. Had a couple ground outs on that swing. Now Seeger with him loaded. Oh my gosh, if I would have just let that get a little deeper. That's an opposite field grand slam. Pop, he just, he's checked out. Got him, 
again! He's batting 202 with 57 online homers. Tell me you can't hit on All Star, but probably, or can't hit on Hall of Fame, but probably smash on All Star without telling me. Okay, so this guy only hits home runs. That explains the batting average to home run ratio on literally all of these cards. <laughs> oh, come on, he was on complete, it was at the bottom of the PCI. Another strikeout on Trey Turner. This guy literally homers or Ks. I'm it's just blown away. Ooh, I thought that was gonna get snatched. Would have been a great play by the shortstop. Chipper Jones with a leadoff knock. Oh, wait, what I went? How am I safe? I am so confused. Kind of jumped off the bat. I didn't hit it well. I was going to say, staying in the yard. It kind of went off the bat quickly there, but then it died in the air. Oh, and two on Luis Gonzalez. And once again, we will go to Old Reliable here, which I've gotten better and better. Early in the game, I was not getting good pinpoints with that changeup. Goose! 15 Ks. It's almost boring at this point. Camp. I'm under that cutter, but again, it jumped off the bat, and Devin Williams is completely out of energy. Opposite field bomb for the King. They owed him a hit anyway. 94 exit velo home run. He's now two for four, and his, he's batting. He was batting 522 before this game, and he's two for four. His batting average has come down in a two for four game where he homered. Also, public service announcement, because I think this is like three out of the last four videos. You're not supposed to wear white on the road in baseball. You wear white at home in baseball. I know you wear white on the road in like every other sport, but in baseball, you wear white at home. Not on the road. Bang! All right, let's throw a change up, up in the zone. Really get him out in front. <laughs> Hello, Bozo. <laughs> I knew that was gonna go that way. I just knew. Seager! Homered last time up. That's almost the same swing too. Chip! Top spin! Oh, Vlad makes a jumping snag at the wall. Wow, he took that pitch that time. That, I can say, is the best take he's had this whole game since the first inning. And it results in a line drive on the next swing. Be more selective, guys. You see what just happened there? Game 17! Ew! I just put the four seam right on that corner and then we just zipped the sinker right off of it. No shot, 18 strikeouts through eight. After running the pause timer all the way down to a minute, he's got Dennis Eckersley coming out to pitch here to Yvonne Rodriguez. hi yeah 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 We're not counting that as a fly ball, that's a pop-up. Ooh, almost. All right, he's got a runner on here, Vlad is this. Vlad is his guy, huh? Thank you, four, six, no! That was kind of slow there, it's shortstop. Oh, and two, Mookie Betts fouled that off, and now we're just gonna go to what's worked the entire, oh, I forgot I was in stretch, I forgot I was in the stretch. Holy, holy. No better way to end the game. Shed! Nolan Ryan goes nine innings, 19 strikeouts, gave up two solo shots. We scored runs in the first, second, third, fourth, and sixth innings of this game. And in the seventh, we had two barrels that could have got out. We went at seven or two, we out hit them 12 to four, so no ice bucket challenge today. You guys, I already know you're starting to get a little annoyed. I haven't lost in a while, we've been hot. But let's be honest, it's coming. The sweaty championship series games are officially upon us. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Hit that thumbs up down below if you enjoyed. Make sure you're using that SeatGeek code SHELFIE for 20 bucks off your order. Same SHELFIE code will get you 10% off all G Fuel orders. So if you're a G Fuel person like me, see all those back, I mean, come on. It's, I'm just saying, 10% off G Fuel code SHELFIE. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Go to the comments. Let me know what you wanna see on the picture wheel. I'm definitely gonna add more stuff to that.